Hello, recently I bought a new laptop, Acer Nitro 5, with one USB-C port, or as they call it, connector. There are a lot of interchangeable terms which are used on the market and from the authors. I realized, I soon realized, that I would need a docking station because I want to connect this laptop to do two monitors, keyboard mouse, eventually external, SSD drive, whatever, another USB devices. So I would need a docking station, adapter, or dongle, as they call it as well. So let me show you the USB-C connector on my new laptop. So this is the USB-C connector. And also, I was asking myself, is it possible to connect dual monitors to this laptop through this USB-C connector? That's why I made a little bit of research. So, it turns out that if you have a USB-C, you have to read the specification of the laptop to figure out what actually is available. And before I forget, I have to tell you that by reading the documentation, I came to the conclusion that cannot be charged with the USB-C port, I mean the laptop, and also it supports the data protocol USB 3.1 gener generation 1 data protocol up to 5 gigabits per second. And here, here there are different dongles, hubs or docking stations as they call them. So all these terms are interchangeably used. Docking station, hub, adapter, dongle. Here are some docking stations on Amazon.com which I came across is not like uh, the latitude where you have a specific uh, docking station, especially those, the old models. The new models are always are usually connected through USB-C or USB-3. So those are different docking stations. And I think uh, I maybe will buy this one and I will report later. So this is the direct link to this docking station which says that you can connect it through USB 3 or C USB C as well but as I said this actually was the impulse to make to make research on USB C so what is USB C and how we are gonna use it so USB C type C also called sometimes ports connectors interfaces plugs our physical interface. So before I go any further, let me tell you how usually I divide the interfaces. I see in each interface three layers. First layer is the physical or mechanical layer. Connector, male, female, how the connectors look, how they fit to each other. Electrical layer. So if one of the devices uh, supports 20 volts, another one doesn't support it and support 5 volts for example you have a troubles or 3.3 volts so they have to be coupled also electrically and the last layer which I see in each interface is the logical or layer or data protocol how actually the devices communicate on the logical level so after saying that let me tell you that where is the place in these three layers model where is the place of USB-C? So USB-C actually it's only the plug, exactly the plugs which we put in the main at home. So in North America they use one uh, with a particular shape, in the UK they use another, here in Europe we use uh, a third type, in New Zealand, Australia they use even different. So now the USB-C comes to solve this problem, they offer only one physical or mechanical interface and on top of that is uh, it doesn't matter which way you connect it compared to USB to the normal USB connectors which you never get right the first time but let's go through all this mind map and see the different topics which I want to cover the mind map the link to the mind map is gonna be in the description under the video so it's a connector type. This is very important and what it does in this three layer model actually 
it uh, makes sure that on the first two layers, on the physical or mechanical layer on, and on the electrical layer, you're compatible. This makes it easy for the user. It's very convenient, very small, tiny plug, which allows uh, those very small, tiny devices to be connected, for example, as I said, uh, to two monitors, keyboard and mouse. And it came to my mind that I would love, for example, to have a phone which uh, through USB-C I connect to uh, such a docking station which has two monitors, mouse, keyboard and eventually external hard drive is going to be perfect so I just uh, detach the device and I continue to use it as, as a phone but when I am home, when I'm at home I want to use this device uh, with the two monitors just for comfort it will be it will become common connector type eventually you can reverse it as I said opposite to the regular USB connectors now it can be reversed which means that not like uh, in USB A, B etc you never get it right the first time you have to look so you can reverse it either, mm, either way it's gonna work you plug it and you don't have to look. Bidirectional, we will cover this very soon. Supports more than one kind of data protocol, logical layer. In uh, the three layer model which I just introduced, this is the third layer and this plug actually supports all of these data protocols. It could support USB 1.1 up to 12 megabits per second speed USB 2 which is 480 megabits per second USB 3 which is usually blue 5 gigabits per second U USB 3.1 and they have two generations here they have generation 1 which is up to 5 gigabits per second exactly like USB exactly like USB 3 here so those are identical according to the speed and USB 3.1 generation 2 up to 10 gigabits per second also it supports Thunderbolt and two other protocols which I will cover shortly Thunderbolt 3.0 which can be passive up to 20 gigabits per second different cable and active passive and active 40 gigabits per second again with different cable. So all these data protocols are supported with this simple plug or physical and electrical interface. Bidirectional change devices with this port. You can charge your phone but at the same time you can charge the device. The, the device itself that means it's bidirectional. But not more than a hundred watts so if your device which you have to charge is more than a hundred watts probably you will have uh, problems if they don't change the standards we will see this again very shortly if the device is more powerful we cannot charge it through USB-C either the device itself or the device the laptop for example cannot charge the phone or camera we can drive monitors with HDMI 2 with USB-C adapter. We can connect network cables, etc. But through adapter, hub or dongle, of course. Thunderbolt 3. Usually, if you have USB 3.1 generation 2, you have Thunderbolt as well on your device. By reading the specification of the Acer Nitro 5, I came to the conclusion that it supports only USB 3.1 generation 1 data protocol up to 5 gigabits per second as I said we can connect network cables a lot of USB-C cables are available and this is gonna turn to be a problem USB-C should support at least 3 amps 60 watts by default by specification there is one uh, little exceptions about uh, exception about which we can forget so we can expect that at least the devices which are 60 watts can be powered through USB-C plug if it's mentioned that uh, 
the USB supports so-called power delivery, then the specification says that it can support 5 amps 100 watts. And just by dividing 100 watts by 5 by amps, we can say that it's up to 20 volts. So this plug actually can support 20 volts, 3 amps, or 20 volts, 5 amps, which makes uh, 100 watts or 60 watts. Such devices communicate and negotiated the power. For example, you can power your monitor through USB-C and the devices which support the power delivery negotiate the power. If uh, one of the devices doesn't support power and delivery, it's gonna fall to default, which is 3 amps 60 watts. The USB-C port can switch between power input or output opposite uh, the regular USB where you can use it as a host the device can be host and another site which is called just a device can charge or be charged dual role can send and receive power opposite to USB which I just said okay so this is the regular USB which has a host site usually with USB-A connector and the device side which usually has USB-B, micro, mini, micro USB, mini, etc. So USB-C is bidirectional and it plays dual roles. Protocol then can be used with USB-C as I said uh, there are three layers and this is the third layer. So what kind of protocols actually can be supported by this plug USB-C so display port display port protocol can be uh, it's supported Thunderbolt Thunderbolt active and passive so by looking the device you cannot say you can by looking the plug you cannot say is it supporting the um, Thunderbolt is it supporting the display port is it supporting HDMI or MHL so you have to read the specification and you have to use the proper cables those different protocols are called, uh, are called also alternate modes protocols that can be used by USB-C as I said you have access to this mind map and you can uh, short recap everything at least now you can look a cable and make sure it will work I'm talking about the present the present days when you can look at the HTML HDMI for example cable you buy HDMI ca cable and you're sure that you can connect your uh, laptop for example from the HDMI output through the HDMI input of your monitor by looking USB-C you cannot tell that uh, this can be done okay so this is all I wanted to record uh, for this session let me make a short recap and conclusion so I bought a Acer Nitro 5 with one USB-C port I now can buy a, a docking station which is USB-C or USB 3 and connect it here and hopefully it's gonna work this docking station is going to work with two monitors, keyboard, mouse, and eventually I will have more USB ports uh, to connect USB devices and RJ45 uh, port to connect uh, local area network. Thank you.